Types of forces. Force on a mass in a uniform gravitational field. The Earth's gravitational field is radial, but close to the surface the field essentially becomes uniform and the strength of the field doesn't change enough to be noticeable. Wait a minute. So close to the surface the gravitational field strength changes so little it effectively becomes a constant. The distance between the field lines doesn't really change. So our rock here is going to experience a force and that force won't really change. The force we call weight and the equation to work out weight is W equals mg. So weight in newtons, mass in kilograms and the gravitational acceleration is in meters per second per second or it can be newtons per kilogram. Center of gravity. Center of gravity of an object is defined as the point in space through which all the entire weight of the object may be considered to act. Something to note is that the center of gravity doesn't always have to be inside the object. Charge in a uniform electric field. A charge in a uniform electric field will also experience a constant force. Positive charges experience this force in the direction of the field lines. However, negative charges will experience the force in the opposite direction to the field lines. But this is covered in much more detail in the electric fields topic. Upthrust. An object in a fluid, such as a liquid or gas, will experience the force of upthrust. Archimedes' principle states that the weight of the fluid displaced or pushed aside is equal to the upthrust. What causes upthrust? Upthrust arises because of the difference in pressure between the upper and lower surfaces of the object. So here's the equation. So upthrust is, well, it's the force experienced by the object uh, in the fluid. V is the volume of the object in the fluid in meters cubed. Rho is the density of the fluid in kilograms per meters cubed, and g is the gravitational acceleration in meters per second squared. So floating bodies displace their own weight of the fluid that they are in. Upthrust example. A one meter cube uh, shaped crate floats in the sea. 75% of the volume of the crate is submerged. What is the upthrust experienced by the crate? Uh, seawater density is 1029 kilograms per meters cubed. So we're going to use our equation, upthrust is equal to the volume times the density times gravitational acceleration. Now, the volume of the cube submerged is just 75% of 1 meters cubed, so 0 0.75 times by 1, which is 0 0.75 meters cubed. The density of the seawater is 1029 kilograms per meters cubed. Uh, it's on planet Earth, so G is 9.81. So the upthrust is going to be 0 0.75 times 1029 times 9.81, which gives us a value of 7,570 newtons. So here's the challenge. Uh, if the box was moved to fresh water with a density of 1,000 kilograms per meters cubed, how much of the cube will be submerged? Leave your answer in the comments. Frictional forces. Friction is a contact force between two surfaces and acts in the opposite direction to the direction of relative motion. Viscous forces. A viscous force acts on an object traveling through a fluid, such as a liquid or a gas. The direction of the force is in the opposite direction of the object's motion. The greater the velocity of the object, the greater the viscous force. So uh, in air, we call this force, air resistance, and maybe in water you might call it drag. Okay guys, I hope that's been useful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now.